Hey, welcome back. So what we've done with the lecturers is all good, but uh, let's do the same for the students because we have a similar problem there too. So all I need to do here, because we have every uh, all the logic already supplied, let me just uh, copy everything here like this, copy. And now I'm going to go to student add now you can do a search here, but uh, there it is, student add. Same thing when we go to the error section here. I'll simply paste this code. Change the error message to suit this one. And then I can now remove this one. And the other thing is the class name is different but we'll put check there as well. Check is equal to, and then let's change select for student. So where is this? Also here, I have to add disabled comma ID. And then let me make sure I change select to student like so. And also the redirect should go to students. Okay, I think uh, that does the trick. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's see here what we have. If we go to the table class students, there's Bob Marley that's already repeated. But let's try Guy Dude and see if we're going to repeat that guy. So let's say remove, I want to remove guy. Uh, let's remove guy, select. Okay, so guy is gone. And equally we can see in here that he is disabled. And let's add him again. So guy, welcome back, add it. So let's see if we have a record number five now. And there we go. We have a record number five, which is not good at all. So things didn't work here for student add. So let's see what really happened here. Mm -hmm. So there must be something weird going on check disabled uh, it should have gone in here I think it went here update ID redirect ID students so everything looks uh, looks a okay to me class students where okay so the reason why it didn't work is because I forgot to remove the disabled here at the end okay so save that let's try one more time guy dude so we have five records now let's do that again so um, let's remove guy select and let's add him again select okay good so let's see if we will have a record number six this time. And we don't. So that is good. Things are working out. But let's remove all the duplicates here. Uh, let's remove the di disabled duplicates. Those two. Delete. And delete. Okay. That way we have no duplicates here. Very nice. Okay. So things are working out now. Now, since that's working, let's just add some pagination and then we can go to dealing with the profile page. Then we can go to tests and call this series a wrap. OK, so let me add pagination here. And to add pagination is simple, as we saw in the other section. So let's try. Let's go to students and copy what we did here. We created a new pager, a limiter. Let me copy all that. So back here to single class, uh, we go to the index where it reads the data. Not lecturer add, right in the index here. 
okay so if tab is lecturers we're going here if it's students it's there so if we add things right about here should be fine okay so we have a limit a pager and an offset so all we have to do is add those values to the end of our queries so we'll say a limit and use the variable limit and then we'll say offset and use the variable offset like that okay so once we have that we have the basic pagination all we need is to add the buttons in the view so i'm going to go down here and copy from students view because i have pager right here copy and i'm just going to go to prof uh, what's this one actually this is the class single class view so single class dot view and this is in the students and lecturers tab so class tab where is this students yes so class tab students no students were found and if so maybe after we know the students were found after the end for each then let's add a pager okay so refresh okay so we have a problem here call to member function display on no so it's saying this one was called this display was called on a no value so this means it doesn't know what this value is so that is easily solvable by including pager in the data here so just uh, do that and add pager like so okay cool that should solve the problem and there we go so second page nothing now the problem with what we did is that if we're on the second page we can't go back to the first page if there are no results so that was an error in judgment let's move the pager out of here and right about here so that we see it even when there are no results that way we can go back to the first page and it seems there's a uh, clashing between this and that hmm and that's because this is card group mm -hmm. so let's put it right after this div here because card group has a display flex inside it so that's why okay so we can go to the first page like so goody now we can do the same thing on the lecturers just by copying this and we should be done let's go to lecturers include right about here that should be it okay good good okay so we have pagination there this is all good next let's see how we can edit or delete a user i'll see you in the next video